Hello, this video will demonstrate the new replication settings available in VMware Cloud Direct Availability 4.3. Replication policies and SLA profiles have been developed in service of providers to help them easily structure their tiers. Through them, they control settings such as allowing protections or migrations for an organization, defining the minimum allowed RPO, specifying the retention rules, enabling tenants to customize their replication settings, and more. In VMware Cloud Direct Availability 4.3, there are two new significant enhancements, lowering the minimum allowed RPO from 5 minutes to 1 minute and the advanced retention policies that control how the rotated instances are spread in time with up to 5 different retention rules. When configuring a new or modifying an existing replication policy, now the 1 minute RPO option is available for selecting. Also there is a new button for enabling the advanced retention policies. When it is enabled, as well as the custom SLA settings, the tenant can define their own retention rules when protecting a workload. With this example, the tenants can fully control specifying their protections RPO and retention rules. Keep in mind that there can be only one replication policy assigned to each organization. Next come the SLA profiles. They are most commonly used in cases where the provider wants to offer different predefined service tiers for their tenants to choose. It simplifies the administration, storage and compute planning and billing too. Now we can set the RPO for this profile to be 1 minute and then enable the retention policy. Before providing 1 minute RPO to tenants, providers must be very careful and check the documentation for recommendations and requirements. The allowed rotated instances are still 24 as in the previous VMware Cloud Direct availability versions, so this is the maximum number of instances that we can configure in the retention rules. We can spread them within different time intervals, providing the number of instances that will be rotated due to this rule, the time distance and the unit. The distance cannot be lower than the defined RPO. The rules are executed from top to bottom and the distance for each following rule must increase. For example, developing a proper retention mechanism through these rules can help tenants when being targeted by ransomware attacks. Now, let's see how the new replication settings can impact tenant operations in cases of self-service. When creating a new protection, tenants can see the available SLA profiles assigned to their organization and review their details to select which one is relevant for the workload they are protecting. If the replication policy for this organization allows, the tenants can also set custom RPO and retention rules. In this example, we configure the RPO to be 1 minute, 4 of the allowed 10 rotated instances with 1 minute distance and the other 6 with 1 hour, which results in 4 minute retention period for the first rule and 6 hours for the second. Then they can proceed with finalizing the protection. Thanks for watching.